If y'all don't know nothing else, Neely, go get that meal. Leave it. Good morning, Neely. How are you doing? I'm good, brother. Good morning. Jeff, get the right back there. Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. That's good. Exciting today. We're moving that Pepsi machine that was up there into the back so we don't have to look at it all the time. Yeah. It's going to be a nice uh, aesthetic improvement. We're working on some things for these walls as well. Uh, excited about that. A couple, couple prime quotes, maybe? Ah, I don't know if that's in the works, but uh, <laughs> along those lines, yeah. Good deal. Like, what is, you know, you said you get orders every two days. What does this represent, like, cost wise? So, all together, we're looking at about 25 grand uh, fresh food in here. And that's going to cycle through every two days, like you said. Probably going to spend about 200 grand just for fall camp. Just for fall camp just alone? Just for fall camp alone. Yeah, wow. 28 days, three meals a day, and a late night snack. It's a lot of food. Typical breakfast spread today, omelets to order, uh, grits, oatmeal, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, bacon, turkey sausage, pancakes, french toads. Uh, we got a croissant sandwich today, which is my favorite. Those are incredible. And all of our typical pastries from Boulder Breadworks. Shout out to Larry at Boulder Breadworks. Amazing products, fresh delivered every day. I want to um, circle back on something. People yeah. miss that you have an omelet station. We do. We do. So we got Nawang and Pasang here that are whipping up omelets to order. So these guys roll in, they pick what they want in their omelet, we make it right there on the spot. You're amazing, Shu. Ah, you're amazing. Why would anyone not come to school with you? You'd have to be a damn fool, Neely. Sam, did you skip the meatloaf? Yeah, I did. I went straight chicken and shrimp. Sam, Not I'm offended. Yeah, you can. It's okay. Like, don't meatloaf take is a steak. Hi. How are you doing? Mm. Good eat. Good. Um, okay. Pasta. Yeah. Got to do uh, the pasta Alfredo. Is kind of what I survived on freshman year here. Grilled chicken. Can't go wrong. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you. Do you want the meatloaf? Hi. 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 All right, I did a little burger day today, and we uh, instead of our typical chicken sandwich, we threw out a chicken po' boy. So we haven't done po' boys with these guys yet, and we sold out. It's first thing to sell out off all camp, so I think it was a hit. Uh, and now we have a little sweet potato waffle fry, a little cheese tortellini, tricolor. You know, get a little spinach in there, uh, asparagus, and some fruit. And let me uh, bear witness to. The to the chicken po' boy. What it was think? excellent. It was excellent. It was excellent? excellent. Wonderful. excellent. Wonderful. Maybe we do shrimp next time. And and peppers was good too, man. Broadwurst and peppers. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, and good. for our vegetarian friends, we had a vegetarian brat option. You did. I saw so. Beyond Brat. Beyond Brat. I didn't choose that one, but it was there. Hey, it's there if you're a vegetarian. You know, we don't discriminate. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is. Feel me? Man, I, I thought they had a recipe, my fuck. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey,
Big order right now, like you saw the other day. It's, it's every day, so we're about to do that. Uh, we're about to sign all the dishes and, and get it going. Did a big deep cleaning yesterday, so the kitchen is looking awesome. Uh, oh, we got some new ovens. Check this out here. Brand new ovens. Two convection ovens. It's gonna help us cook all the food we need to cook, guys. My man. What does a typical shipment look like for you? So right now we've got about 250 cases. Uh, it's good for about two days. So that's between the cooler, the freezer, dry store, um, you know, everything that we're using to pull these services off. And you typically get them on Saturdays, Sundays, or how do deliveries work? We get these every day. Every uh, day? Except Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Monday through Saturday we're getting about 200, 250 cases. And then it's gone just like that, turn it's it over. It's just like that. Keeping things labeled and dated, uh, first in, first out, those things are, you know, uh, really important for what we do. So we'll go through and give you a little tour of what we're working with. All right, so we're going to do a little walk-in tour. We just got our daily delivery and I'll show you guys what we're working with every day. Come check it out. Right now we're getting about 250 cases every single day, Monday through Saturday. Uh, it takes about three or four of us about an hour just to put this stuff away. Um, you know, food safety is utmost concern, so we're making sure we're FIFO, first in, first out. Uh, we're labeling and dating. Uh, everything is held at the proper levels in the cooler, and we're just gonna show that off a little bit. All right, so we don't have too much space, and we're feeding a ton of food to a ton of boys. Uh, so organization is key. So just kind of take you through here what we do. These are some speed racks where we keep some prep and some leftovers. Uh, again, waste mitigation is top priority. So we're repurposing and we're making sure we're wasting as little as possible. So we got some prep things items here. Uh, then we got our dairy. A ton of cheese, ton of butter, ton of milk, yogurt, eggs. Um, some extra little goodies back there in the back. Some individual milks that we put out for the guys to grab. Some more prep. Some more prep here, a lot of salad bar goodies, lots of fresh veggies. We brew our own sweet tea every day, so we're going through a lot of that. Some citrus. And we got flank steaks, we got chicken breast, we got whole chickens, uh, we got skirt steaks, here's some veggies up here, we got collard greens, avocados, romaine, tomato, the spring mix, some more protein down low. Uh, we got some burger patties, we got some roasted turkey for some deli meat. More more chicken breast, salmon. Uh, we got all of our herbs up here. So we're working with a ton of herbs every day. Basil, rosemary, thyme, 
cilantro, parsley, chives, um, jalapenos, peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, baby carrots, a lot over here nearly. Got some ground beef down low, some more peppers, a ton of pasta we're cooking every day, summer squash. That's the cooler. A ton of produce, a ton of protein every single day. So I've noticed the things that uh, can drip and leak are at the bottom. The proteins Absolutely. are at the bottom and the, the veggie stuff is up top. Absolutely. So food safety. Food safety is key. Chicken's on the bottom, all the raw proteins are at the bottom. Anything that's prepped or partially cooked is up top. Uh, we got 100 on our uh, health inspection last year. We've been doing this for a while. I have never gotten 100 anywhere. I've never seen that. We got 100. Uh, we're partners in Boulder's Food Safety Excellence Program, which means that we do everything that we need to do and then we go above and beyond uh, with certain things to make sure that we're attaining the highest level of food safety. Got my sous chef here, Bassan. She Hi. helps keep everything tidy. She, uh, she's a huge player over here. I could not do what we do without this woman right here. She is fantastic. All about the team. All about the team. All right, Chef, what you got for lunch today? Uh, we got a roasted chicken thigh, nice little blackened seasoning on it, uh, grilled ribeyes with a compound butter, herbs and garlic. Uh, then we got a roasted lemon pepper salmon. We got mashed potatoes, tater tots, uh, broccoli tricolor cauliflower mix. Got to get those nutrients in there. Uh, nice tossed salad and fresh fruit. And as always, salad bar. And today we got a nacho bar. So we're not, we're not skipping on options. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. You got one more steak? Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you. You mind if I get some water, Bill? You got it? Thank you, man. Thank you. 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 Thank you
I'll do some rice, please. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shane, look like you're down south today. Yes, sir. We got some brisket, got some barbecue tofu. We eat that all the time down south, barbecue tofu. Talking about down south, you got these. You find you a bunt, one of these to put in there, maybe two. Not bunt. Bunt. Down here, Benny Winnie. They don't know nothing Ooh, about this. I don't this. know about Benny Winnie that came. And, and I, I know I'm how to put a little sugar in the beans, I know, because, you know, they don't know. I'm going to find me some sugar from somewhere, and we finna get down through there. Benny Winnie, baby. Let's go. I Short ribs tonight. Get a little uh, braised beef short ribs too. Uh, going with a chicken cordon bleu, which we haven't showed these guys yet tonight. Uh, it's a ham and cheese stuffed chicken breast. A little dredge and sear, and then some uh, Dijon cream sauce. And that's Coming dinner. Here. That's dinner tonight. Yeah. Tell me about lunch. Lunch. You ready? Yep. Got some more of these bad boys. We got scallops. The we fat got scallops. A little flight of wings, four different flavors. Some flank steaks, some roasted salmon. These guys, fingerling potatoes, fresh local corn on the cob, Prime's loving that right now, uh, and a uh, cob salad. And why would anyone? Yeah, it'd have to be a <laughs> damn fool. <laughs> uh, salmon there. And a couple scallops. Yeah. Is that lobster? Yeah, we call this lobster on saddleback. So we went inside, we pulled it out, we pulled it over the top, and we cook it like that, and it just presents. Is there food. another athletic cafeteria in America that has lobster for lunch? Not to my knowledge. Well, I'm looking forward to lunch. <laughs> Enjoy, Nathan. Waiting on JB. Lobster. Yeah, it's crazy. You got three lobsters. Thank you for the baseball cup. Come in there, come in there. Oh, oh. Where's Coach Oh, oh. Rocking and rolling, nearly. Yeah. Got a little oxtail brazen out for tonight. It's gonna be amazing. Zach's over here crushing out some buffalo chicken. Seared up chicken breast, marinated buffalo sauce, a little melted mozzarella on top. And we got Pasang over there, sous chef, whipping up some Caesar salad. Uh, going hard in the back right now. Veg prep. All day, every day. You rock, chef. You good? You good? You good? good. I look good, don't you? And then can you go to the oxtail down there? What you know about oxtail? Shoot, man. This stuff's too good. I'm just a little too full to eat that today, though. I'm a little too full. We gotta eat light, you know? 
Tonight, some oxtail stew, some arroz con pollo, some fried plantains, uh, some callaloo. What else we got? Some blackened halibut, blackened shrimp. It's good. It's good I stuff. think uh, the guys are excited about the oxtails, man. Yeah, we did it once a couple weeks ago. Rave reviews. So first time we're doing it for everybody. Hope they like it. We'll see. 80 pounds of oxtails. 80, 80 pounds. pounds. There's a lot of oxtails. <laughs> Oxtails, man, with a little uh, uh, peas and rice, some collard greens, man. We can see what's going down up in here, my brother. A little water, man. A little water, man. Sam, you oxtail, man? Yes, sir. You already know. I'm on my second plate, too. <laughs> I'm not joking. Mind if I could just get a little scoop of pasta? That's perfect right there, man. Yeah, please and thank you. That's good. Thank you. Soccer still showed up early. Yes, sir. Play number two. I'm coming back in three. I believe in you, Sam. What you got today? All right, Neil. We got our typical breakfast spread today: scrambled eggs, fried eggs. Omelets to order, uh, bacon, turkey, sausage, potato hash, pancakes, French toast from local baked uh, bread, Boulder Breadworks. Shout out to those guys, and a bagel sandwich. How many eggs do you think you go through for breakfast? Oh my gosh. So we do, I get a case of 15 dozen like this, and we go through two of those just for fried eggs. That's not counting scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, you know, we use a liquid egg product as any large operation would do, and I believe we go through about 2,000 eggs in the liquid egg form. So, it's a lot of eggs. Y'all do the math out there. I'll let y'all <laughs> figure it out. Take your late shift. Catch you nothing. Come on, when do you wake up in the morning? You get here. Uh, I get up 4 a.m. I wake up 3.30. Five minutes I'm ready then I come here. Woo! Here you go, man. Appreciate it. Good. 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 Oh, the parsley. First day of fall semester. Uh, we got dinner right here. We did a little Tex Mex thing for lunch. Taco bar and Tex Mex. So for tonight, uh, dinner we got Italian. So we started off with some pasta, going into chicken parm, beef meatballs, shrimp skin. Rainbow tortellini, cheese, garlic bread, asparagus, Caesar salad, and we still got some great watermelon for the summer, so we're sticking with that. Great first day. What a great first day of school. I think so. See you guys.